All right. Welcome back, everybody. This is going to be a really exciting break. I'm very, very excited for this. Uh, I've been watching people open this stuff all week. This just came out last week, and these seem like they are absolutely insane. The hype around this extended series is real this year, just because, uh, I don't know, I really enjoyed last year's extended series. The first thing I ever opened up on my channel was a hobby box of last year's extended series. So this is really cool. This is kind of like a, a nostalgic set for me almost at this point. This is, like I said, this is crazy. They've uh, condensed. Trilogy is not a thing this year. So what they've done is they've just added all the trilogy cards into this. You have the possibility to get some serious crazy cards out of this. Um, just a really cool like list of inserts, all that sort of stuff. Well, you know, we got 24 packs, 8 cards per pack. So we'll get going on this here today. I really like the retro Young Guns design from this. It'd be nice to get a Turcotte Young Guns or a Dursey. There's a lot of LA Kings players in this set, so... Fingers crossed we get something nice. I don't know. I've got a really good feeling about this box. I don't know what it is. I hand-selected this one myself from the hobby shop, my local card shop, so... It had good vibes coming off of it, so... Let's get something nice out of here today. Alright, so there's your look at the packs. Nice shiny red pack. We got John Tavares on the front. So let's get going here and see what we got. So Isaac Lundestrom, Andre Vasilevsky, uh, Alex Fon For Formanton, sorry. Alex Formanton. We have a Matthias Norlander Young Guns. Matthias Norlander, Tony D'Angelo, Gustav Forsling, Louis Erickson, and Barclay Goudreau. Jasperi Kotkaniemi, Mason Marchman. I wish the Leafs never got rid of this guy. He was an absolutely great player. Like, had a real coming out party last year in Florida. Just a physical player, good grinder, just an all-around great player. Really wish the Leafs had kept that guy, but it is what it is. We have Antoine Roussel, Chris Drieger, and we have a Jesper Bratt uh, UD Canvas. Uh... Arthur Kaliev, that's a nice card right there. I believe Kaliev has a Young Guns canvas in this set. I know Michael Bunting has a Young Guns canvas in here, which I know people are saying is kind of weird, but he didn't get one last year, so it is what it is. And correct me if I'm wrong, but I also believe Kaliev is in the Young Guns canvas set this year, so that would be a really nice card to get. Okay, uh, Christian Dvorak, Adam Fox, Jonas Donskoy, this is a French variant of Morgan Geeky. So there's our French card. We have Jason Dickinson, Patrick Nemeth, Robert Haig, and John Merrill. Just noticing this now, I don't know if it said this on all the Kraken cards from this year, but it says inaugural game on that one there. I don't know. We'll see. I know they have like the all-star set in here. I don't know. I didn't pay too, too much attention to the base checklist. I always finish the base sets for Upper Deck. It's something I've enjoyed doing for years and years. It's very therapeutic putting together the base sets. Uh, so we have Alexander True, Keith Yandel, Shane Gostisbear, Logan Brown, and we have a retro of Brad Marchand. We have Trevor Lewis, Pavel Bushnevich, and Andrew Ladd. All right, Eric Goodbranson, Samuel Montembeau, uh, Will Butcher. We have a Young Guns of Daniel Tarasov, Daniel Tarasov, Mike Matheson, Tyler Bozak, Jeremy Lauzon, and Mitch Marner. That's one of the all-star cards there. 2020-21 all-star. I like the look of those. They're almost kind of like the portrait cards or something. It's a nice look. Okay, Nick Holden, Mason Appleton, Corey Perry. We have another canvas of Blake Wheeler, Michael Bunting, Nikita Zadorov, uh, Sean Corrali, and Tomas Tata. Okay, Frederick Goudreau, Alex Tuck. Looks like we got something shiny, foily. Might be one of the holographics cards. We got Brian Elliott, Cal Clutterbuck, 
And we have, that's an awesome card right there. Holy smokes. That's got to be a huge hit. Cole Caulfield Rookie Holographics. That's a nice one right there. Uh, shout out to all you Canadians fans out there. Stix G and Frank from Frank's Cards and Collectibles. That is a beautiful card. Really nice. We got Tage Thompson. Uh, Yoki Haru. Or sorry, not Yoki Haru. Uh, Jujar Kaira. Uh, and Andrew Cogliano. That's a beautiful card. It doesn't really do it justice in real life, but like this thing just looks so nice in person. There's some kind of like foily disco ball thing happening inside that card. It's hard to explain. All right, we have Seth Jones, Thomas Nosek, Ryan Graves. We have a Jake Gensel Black Diamond. I really like these retro Black Diamond cards right here. I believe you get two per box. That's a nice one right there, Jake Gensel. Probably going to be uh, the leading scorer, I feel like, in Pittsburgh in the next couple years. Uh, seems like Malkin and Crosby have kind of slowed down a bit, but Jake Gensel's still a really good player. Carter Rowney, Brandon Dillon, Matthew Joseph, and Mark Giordano. All right, so I wouldn't be surprised if that Cole Caulfield is going to be our best hit of the box, but... Fingers crossed we get something else nice out of here. Looks like we have another one of those holographics coming up. We have Oliver ekman Larson, Scott Wedgwood, Darren Helm, who I can't believe is still playing. And here we go. What do we got for holographics? We have a rookie of Alex Newhook. So we're doing good with these here. I love, love the look of these holographics cards. That's a nice one. So we have two good rookies. We got Caulfield and Newhook. Stanley Cup champion Alex Newhook. All right, next pack here. I really like this. I'm probably going to pick up a couple more boxes of this. I still have a couple boxes of Series 2 to open up, but I really like this extended series this year. So there's a Dougie Hamilton All-Stars. We have a Mitch Marner on the Retro Black Diamonds. Those are real nice. Checklist of Parise and Chara. Victor Hedman and David Riddick. Big save Dave. So I think I have four more young guns left to go in this box, so we'll see what we get for those. Um, I don't. I think you're guaranteed one retro young guns out of each box, so we'll see what. I just bought on eBay the Quinton Byfield retro young guns card, so with my luck, I'm probably going to pull that out of here. We have a young guns canvas of Robin Salo, Robin Salo. That's a nice one right there. I've been having great luck with the Young Guns canvases lately. I seem to pull one every video I do. Uh, Miko Rantanen and Colin Blackwell. Okay. Matt Roy. What do we got there? What is that? Uh, Yakov Trenin. Jaden Schwartz. We have beautiful. Look at that. Ho ho. We have a SPX Finite of Elias Lindholm who's going to have himself two new uh, line mates this year. Went from being on one of the best lines in the league last year. Who knows, it could be one of the best lines in the league this year. But uh, Calgary looks real good. They got Nazem Kadri now and Jonathan Huberdeau. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know who else is going to play in that top line. It'll probably be Mangiapane, Lindholm, and Huberdeau. But this is really nice. I love the look of that card right there. I haven't actually seen these ones yet. That's the first time I've seen that. So out of $7.99, an Elias Lindholm Gold SPX. That is a beauty. We'll put that up in the background. A stand, a stand, a stand, a stand. Uh, Anton Forsberg. Luke Glenning and Brad Richardson. Uh-oh. Lindholm down. Let's get him back up there. Speaking of the Calgary Flames, I just picked this card up the other day at the card shop. Um, I've talked about it many times before, but Jay Bomeister is my favorite player of all time. So I had to pick this up when I saw it there. I got a good deal on it. Really like that card at a 15. It's a patch auto of Bomeister. Anyways, though, that's not what we're here for today. We're here to finish this box. I think I'm about halfway through at this point. Should still have my four young guns. I've kind of lost count. The other checklist, we have Derek Forbert. We have Seth Jarvis. That's a good one. He's a pretty good player, so that's nice to get. Seth Jarvis, Young Guns. Alex Nedeljkovic. Mike Hoffman. 
Teddy Bluger, and Yanni Hackenpaw. All right. Let's keep it going here. This video is probably going to be hopefully not too long, but we shall see. I'm going to try and make quick work of this. We have Peter Morazic. Uh, Peter Morazic. I'm not saying anything. Alexander Carrier. Laurent Boissois. Josiah Slavin. So that's uh, Slavin's younger brother right there. That's a pretty cool card. Um, we have Martin Jones. Warren Fogel. Darcy Kemper. And Logan Stanley. Jacob Slavin is such a great defenseman. I know he's not, like, you couldn't really argue that he's underrated. But I do think he is underrated. He doesn't get enough hype or uh, attention for how good that guy is defensively. He's like an old-school defenseman, like shutdown defenseman. You don't see that much anymore these days. So we have Tucker Pullman, Adam Boakvist, Callie Yonkruk, who's now with the Leafs, Connor McMichael, we have a retro of Anders Lee, Ethan Bear, Noah Dobson, and Sonny Milano, who I'm kind of shocked that uh, the Ducks did not offer a contract to Sonny Milano. When you watched him and Zegras playing together last year, there was so much chemistry between those two guys. So, like, why didn't you offer him a contract? I don't know. I don't get it. Maybe there's something behind the scenes that we don't know about. Who knows? So, Cody Cece, Brock McGinn. Sam Lafferty, and we have a Young Guns of Mason Shaw. So shout out to Julie Farnham right there. There's a Minnesota Wild Young Guns. We have Tuka Rask, Caleb Jones, and Zach Parise. wonder if either of these are numbered. I didn't really... No, I did look. That's right. I don't know. I guess I'm assuming the gold one's harder to pull. I've got no idea. Maybe... Like I said, I didn't really look into this too much. I'll have to do some more research once I'm done ripping this stuff open. We have uh, Matthias Janmark, Marcus Johansson, Nick Letty, Evgeny Svechnikov, uh, Joe Thornton Canvas. That's real nice right there. Jumbo Joe, Ryan Suter, Jordan Eberle, and Brett Howden. Down to seven packs left here. Still haven't got my retro young gun, so we'll see what we get for that. But I'm happy with this box so far. Got a couple good, uh, these two cards back there, the new hook and the Caulfield are really nice. All right, what do we have? I told you. I told you this was going to happen. I just bought this on eBay. I knew it. The second I clicked purchase, I, I told myself, I guarantee the first box, I rip open of this stuff. I'm going to pull the Byfield. This is amazing. Don't get me wrong. I'm very, very happy to hit this. Quinton Byfield is my favorite player to collect for this year. Absolutely love this guy. But of course, that's my luck. I even said it. Of course I pulled this. Why? Why did I buy it on eBay? I should have just waited. Either way, now I have two of these, which is not a bad thing to have. So I got a real cool. Add that to the Young Guns collection for Byfield. Now all I need is the standard one. I'll show you here. I have both canvas young guns. I'll get this byfield out of the way. I got that one from Slappy a long time ago. We have the pink young guns canvas. I have the black young guns canvas. And now I have the retro young guns. And now there's another one in the mail. So uh, Zach Bogosian, Blake Coleman. We have Philippe Deneau and Brandon Saad. That is hilarious. All right, so maybe I'll have to predict stuff like that again. So it'd be really cool. Let's just say if I pulled one of the Crosby or McDavid or Ovechkin rookies that are possible to pull in this set. So fingers crossed that I can just manifest everything to happen out of this. We have Logan O'Connor, something shiny coming up here. Connor McDavid. We have an SPX out of 99, number one out of 99. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Number one at a 99 of Steven Stamkos right there. That's a beauty as well. Really nice card. I think this is going to become a little bit of a more collectible set. Why doesn't Upper Deck just keep doing this every year? The inserts that they're putting in this extended series is amazing. Look at that. Look at the look of these SPX cards this year. They're amazing. Okay, we have Brandon Montour, Zdeno Chara, and uh, Evan Rodriguez. 
All right, five packs left. Yes, five packs left. All right. I'm very happy with this. I've probably said that two or three times already, but it's been a good box. We have Jared McCann, Austin Matthews on the All-Star, Linus Allmark. We have a Kale McCarr retro or reflections. What are these? What is that? Yeah, that's just uh, reflections. Pretty nice. Kale McCarr, what a, what a playoffs that guy had last year. Just absolute crazy. That guy's going to change how the whole defense is played in the NHL, I have a feeling. We have Peyton Krebs, Philip Grubauer, and Nate Thompson, and Nick Ritchie. Where did Nick Ritchie end up? I can't remember. Uh, ba, ba, ba. Where did Nick Ritchie go? I can't remember. Anyways, next pack we have Andreas Johansson, Victor Arvidsson, Pierre, uh, Pierre Edouard Bellamar. We have a Young Guns canvas of Turcotte and Holtz. That is awesome, too. This has been a really nice box as far as my PC collection goes. Byfield, Turcotte, Lindholm. I'm happy. Ryan Murray, Morgan Geeky, uh, Yanni Gord, and Nolan Patrick. Okay, so I think we have one more Young Guns left. I think I pulled five. Not counting, so I'm probably going to pull nine by the time this is all done, if we're including the checklist and the canvas and the retro. So Nick Bonino, uh, Yaroslav Halak, Vince Dunn, and we have a Dazzler coming up, which are not easy to pull out of Extended Series. We have Elias Pettersson Dazzler. Really nice right there. I think those are only like possibly one per box that you're not even guaranteed one from extended this year. Uh, Evan Bouchard, Adam Larson, and Mark andre Fleury. All right, hopefully there's something left in these two packs. Uh, Curtis McDermott, Duncan Keith, Cam Atkinson, and what is this? SPX, Justin Barron? Justin Barron. I'm not familiar with that name really right there, but there's a gold SPX, gold, whatever color this is. It's every color at once. I don't know how to, I don't know how to decipher what color that is, but there's a Justin Barron. Uh, we have Sven Barshi, David Savar, Andre Kasha, and Hayden Fleury. All right, last pack of the day here. This box has been absolutely loaded in my opinion. Very happy with this. Okay, see what we got here last pack. So, Tyler Pitlick, Michael Raffle, Ryan Reeves, Danton Heinen, and last card is a Jonathan Drew in retro. Okay, Dougie Hamilton, Jumbo Joe, and uh, Haircut Brad. Okay, so just a quick little recap here. We did real good in this one, I think. Uh... I don't know, this this extended series, let's keep bringing this back every year, Upper Deck. This stuff's really fun. Just a huge variety of inserts. Um, yeah, this was a good one. Seth Jarvis, probably the best Young Guns. Beside the retro Byfield, that's by far my favorite card out of this box. And then that Stamkos was nice. That Lindholm's real nice. And then we got these beautiful two rookies of two absolute awesome young players, Newhook and Caulfield. Uh, and then a checklist canvas. Look at this. This was great. This was awesome. I'm very happy. Okay. So anyways, now we're on to this spinach hunt. Still going with this. This will never stop. I've committed to this and I'll keep doing it for the rest of my life until I own every single spinach card out of the Allen and Ginter set. So we have Meadows, Austin Meadows. Yes, Austin Meadows. We have Johnny Bench. We have Herbeck. And our mini is going to be her back, we got double her back. We got her back and her back. It's like Russian nesting dolls. We have an orange bellied parrot and Camposano. Luis Camposano. Anyways, we didn't get spinach, but what a hot box of extended that was. Thanks everybody for checking out this video today. I hope you all have a great day and enjoy the polls.